in office buildings and commercial buildings, it's often the case that the occupants are not the only or major source of pollutants. There is usually a lot of printers which, uh, which emit some pollutants. There, is a, there may be some paints, there may be some laboratories which may store some chemicals. So it is important to ventilate all, all these out of the building and bring the fresh air in. We decided to have a HRV standing for heating recovery ventilator where we will have a central unit up in the in the penthouse which will extract all the air, all the warm air from the building. Then it will have a heat recovery where it will just give some of the heat from that air to the fresh air and then it will deliver that fresh air to the room. The, the, the left duct doesn't have any, any terminals to the room over there. It just goes through that room and have the terminals here. We have four terminals here. Whereas the right duct, that only has four terminals to that room over there, doesn't go on to this room. Well, we could either supply the fresh air to both of these rooms at the same rate, and if there is lecture going on here, we will just constantly overventilate the empty room. But we decided to split the ventilation systems, or to split the, split the ductwork, so now we can control this part of the room independently of the other part of the room. So there actually will be two, sen two CO2 sensors, one in this part, one in the other part, and we expect that if, if we close or if we split the rooms with the partition and we only hold the lecture here, it's only going to be this room with the elevated CO2 concentration and it will call for, for, for the damper to open only to supply the fresh air to this room. We want people to breathe that fresh air and then the, the exhaust duct should just extract that, that stale air. So this is the place where, where the ducts, duct work splits to for, for the left, left auditorium and right auditorium. We have the, the main duct coming from the ventilation unit up in a, in a penthouse. Then it divides in two and each of these branches has an individual damper. There will be modulating motors on that dampers, which will be controlled by the, by the single uh, CO2 sensors in every room. So if there is a call for more fresh air, this damper will just open a little bit, which will introduce more fresh air to the, to the particular room where the, where the call came from. The same way it's the, it's the exhaust duct. It, it brings the air, uh, it exhausts the air from, from the auditorium, that's the two big branches up there, and then it extracts the air from this room and from that room as well. And all that air goes in that big duct where it joins with the other extract ducts uh, from the rest of the floor, and then it goes up to the, to the floor above us, where another duct is connected to it, and then it goes to the penthouse where the, where the air handling unit will, will be placed. This floor, one, one branch of the, of the fresh air supplies these four offices and another two branches supply the space here. And in this floor, all the exhaust will travel from, from the offices, it will travel under the door, and it will be exhausted by, by, the, terminals, by the terminals up here. There is uh, six or eight big terminals which will 
which will exhaust all the air from this floor. We needed to find the right balance between uh, what, is, what is good to have for comfort while it still justifies for the price and then finding, uh, finding a unit, air handling unit, which will be again somewhat unique because we like to do unique things yet it still won't be extremely expensive compared to the standard solutions. So I think we ended up having a unit which is about 20 to 30 percent maybe more expensive but uh, since it has these advanced uh, possibilities of controls we expect to have that 20 or 30 percent back within the first years of operation.